Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey. So we have some news, or non-news. The X-Files are officially over. No more X-Files. I saw Jillian Anderson's tweet first, which was a response to a different tweet posted by TV line to Mike Osiello. Well, can we be clear? They didn't say it's over forever. There's, there's no plans to move forward. Hashtag the X-Files. Fox has no plans for a season 12 following Jillian Anderson's exit. Fox is shutting down the X-Files for now, at least. In a conference call with reporters early Monday, Network co-chairman and CEO Gary Newman revealed that there are no plans to do another season at the moment. His remarks come two months after the conclusion of the show's 11th season, which leading lady Jillian Anderson previously announced would be her last. We've heard that before, but it sounds very definite. In the wake of the X-Files season 11, Chris Carter told TV Line, I can't imagine there wouldn't be more X-Files in some shape or form. I think there are lots of more stories to tell and ways to tell them. I'm leaving this as a giant hit cliffhanger. F-U-C-C for doing that. Hashtag. And Jillian has announced that she's not coming back. Hardcore X-Files fans know there have been no real endings on the show. Yes, there have been. The ending of season eight was a good ending. We couldn't have something like that. Season eight had a real ending. It really did. And even season nine had a better ending. And even I Want to Believe had somewhat, somewhat of a resolution. But this was not a resolution. This was WTF. A 50-year-old's having a baby, and WTF, what happened to the other baby? Jillian Anderson responded to Michael Osiello's tweet saying, Well, Michael, the truth is, dot, 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 after exit of 77% of viewership, what they're talking about is the premiere episode has changed, and there are many factors that contribute to the viewership declining, including TV viewership in general declining in the past two years. A lot of shows are not getting the viewership that they usually get. We've all known that because of streaming platforms and other networks and other media outlets, they have other ways of consuming media and content than watching the television. Two big things I think happened. Season 10 was not great. Season 10 had 20 million viewers, which is freaking amazing in the last 10 years. 20 million viewers watching a show Especially, you know, averaging 15 to 20 million of viewers for every show for six episodes is amazing. But you're right, they blew up season 10. They blew the hell out of it. They promoted the There's heck so out much of it. Anticipation. They did not do that for season 11. And, then, and season 10 was bad enough to scare away a lot of people. Yes, but Babylon. Babylon was enough alone just to scare away everyone. I'm sorry. I would like to say to anybody who hasn't seen season 11, I don't know that if you're watching this, you. You're somebody who hasn't seen season 11, right? But season 11, every minute, the worst minute of season 11 is better than the best minute of season 10. I agree. And they that have season 11 season. is be better than most minutes of anything post season 5. Season 11, the writing, the direction, the performances, David, Jillian, Mitch, William, everybody, these guest stars on oh. all these different episodes. Yes. They blew it out of the park. And I think I am upset because after season 10, I really didn't care. No, Everyone's upset about that people. cliffhanger. I didn't care if we ever got another minute no, because it was bad. It was horrible. Season 10 was not good. Yeah. And I haven't been this, you know, outspoken blunt. about it because I'm trying to be supportive, but let's be blunt. It was not good. The, they really pulled they it, the they pulled it together script-wise last minute. Where Where was it? That great. was great. And they had some semi-okay moments. Home you know, Again was okay. Home Again was okay. Founders Mutation was, was okay. okay. Babylon sucked ass. That one my was Struggle bad. One and Two were like My Struggle One. I liked the, I liked the direction of it. And then it but went over. I, they clearly had no rehearsal, no planning. Chris was flying by the seat of his pants, and his actors did not have. Well, he was a writing set. My Struggle Two when they were filming Babylon. Right. He was right. writing My Struggle right. Two. Right. And I think they realized this. And got a kick in the ass and stepped it up. Oh, they did. Three, four, five, six hundred percent for season eleven. Season oh, eleven wow. is some of the best ten hours of TV I've seen in the last ten well, years. I, I wouldn't go that far, but I thought it was definitely a big step. I up enjoyed it. It was fun. It was good. Uh, there were a couple episodes that were eh, not so great. I don't have the problems a lot of people have with season eleven. Uh, I, season I, eleven yeah. was little... the CSM stuff didn't bother me. The fatherhood yeah. of William didn't bother yeah, me. Yeah, that bothered a lot. I know of that people. bothers a lot of people. That 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 is a a thing of contention, a story choice 
that I can respect. I don't you know, respect the story choice. I understand why. Before. I understand why people don't like it, the but struggles. the action was good. The act, the writing, for most intents and purposes, it was, was very good. out of character. They really could have made a couple of tweaks to make it a little bit more. Well, they made satisfying. a choice that a lot of people don't like. And let me tell you, the one tweak they could have made was just allow William B. B. Mulder's son and done everything the same, but allowing William T. Mulder's son and even ending it the way they did. When Smoky Man said William was his son, we had hoped he was lying. We had hoped that in my struggle for that it would be revealed that William was actually Mulder's. And I, if they had done that, I think a lot of people would have been satisfied. If they allow Scully to participate more in the season finale, she spent the whole time on her phone. And if they had not done the whole baby thing, which I know a lot of people love, but the baby thing is ridiculous. Okay, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, there's a Screen Rant article that came out right after the premiere on January 3rd. It said the X-Files made its grand return for season 11 last night, but the ratings took a huge hit. From what the series drew for season 10, one of the biggest hits of the 90s, the X-Files served as one of the first major entries into the current wave of TV revivals when it returned to the small screen in January 2016. After more than a decade off the air, season 10 proved to be a big hit for Fox, making it unsurprising when the network ordered season 11. And unfortunately, it looks like season 11 is unlikely to make the same type of rating waves as season 10. On one level, that's not too shocking as overall TV ratings continue to trend downward across the board. Even The Walking Dead, the number one rated scripted series in all of TV continues to fall to numbers it hasn't seen since season two. According to Variety, the season premiere of The X-Files earned an overnight rating of 1.4 in the key of 18 to 49 viewer demographic. That's down a massive 77% from the 6.2 season 10's premiere earned. Season 11's debut also drew in some 5.2 total viewers, a big drop from the 16.2 that watched season 10's kickoff. So as we said, there are a lot of factors that played into it. I Fox definitely dropped the ball on promoting it. I feel like they rushed the premiere. They announced the premiere date like uh, about a month or two right before it. They didn't give much anticipation. I didn't see X-Files on the billboards like I did for season 10. We were not on the PR list, so we didn't get any press stuff or updates. I don't know how many other smaller media outlets that they completely like kept in the dark about season 11. But for season 10, they did a big push yeah. with all the smaller fan sites like us, and other small and we didn't smaller. request it we were surprised all of a yeah. sudden we started getting emails yeah, from just, fox publicity yeah and we're like oh for season 10 they had their premiere awesome. party they had a big premiere they invited party. us to the premiere party we're like oh, oh. well that was nice wow i wow. was not expecting that no but they said they were inviting someone but either way they did a lot to promote season 10 and it was more anticipated obviously because that was the initial return of the x-files mm -hmm. that was the revival and I think, as you said, a lot of people were disappointed because episodes were lacking in season 10. I don't think at this point a movie will happen because it's much harder to get a movie funded and greenlit than it is to get a series. A, a few small things could have fixed this. They could have promoted it better. They could have given a little bit more time before putting it on TV and giving it the premiere. They should have done a little bit more promotion allowed them to get out there and really do a push for it, not right after the holidays. They also could have written it better in season 10 to make season 11 more popular so that more people would watch. I think that's the number one problem. But that all being said, the ending of how they resolve season 11 could have easily been fixed with a few tweaks. A few tweaks and it would have made a lot of people happy. One tweak being that Smoky Man was not Liam's father. Just take that out and leave everything the same. Mm -hmm. That alone would make people happy. Two, allow Mulder Scully to have a final kiss. And three, get rid of this silly baby at the very end. That's I'm not going to argue with that. These are what I think. These three things. That's not why the show was canceled. That's, that's not, not why the writing's down. That's not why the show canceled. People are angry about what they want. Well, that's why a lot of people don't yeah. want any more. And that's yeah. why Jillian has said she's not happy with the way Scully reacted. Even at a Comic-Con recently, they she didn't know what the heck she was saying. They didn't show her the script until like a day before the episode because they wanted her to be surprised by the pregnancy so she didn't have time to plan for this character mm. so that's not right i don't know i have a problem with this oh that that that's that, that, that i have a problem with it so as an actor she's, leaving that's for, garbage. she's not too happy with the resolution yeah. either it's pretty obvious and her reaction to scully's reaction to skinner telling her mm -hmm. that william wasn't her son or wasn't Mulder's son would have been completely different from what it was because right. she pretty much had no reaction in the car 
And this is probably why she doesn't want to come back because she doesn't have confidence that we're going to get a good resolution. And I don't have confidence either because I don't like the way season 11 was um, resolved. I personally am fine with arguing and debating over this type of stuff. I don't want to debate over anything else that has to do with the actors and their personal lives. I amen. Or other fans. Or other fans. Talking about other fans. Yes. Talking well, about you know, we're nonsense. responsible for the 77% decline. That's yeah. our fault. Those two company acts. I just want more X-Files. I, I'm only, and I, I may be repeating myself now, I am only shocked and upset by this news because I really was so excited by what I saw in season 11. Even for its flaws. You know, there's no perfect TV show. Every show I watch has eh, moments I want to check my Twitter feed, right? But that season 11 finale, episode 10, I was on the edge of my seat. It was balls to the walls, action, high energy, and if you could get past the one or two things, I got, I didn't even notice so those problems because I was so into it. Things. Maybe it's the guy answer. One it was more of a guy things flick. Ruined it, and it could have been great. Mm. Two or three, one or two things kept that from being great. Is part of the problem, and I've been really thinking about this with a lot of the fandom debate that goes on, is it the problem that too many people are trying to make this science fiction piece a chick flick? No. No, it doesn't it's have to It's science be. fiction, it's no, aliens. You, they are making it a chick flick by giving you a twist and making his father the father of the kid. When Scully put William in his arms for the first time and he smiled, and he said, she was. She said, I'm going to name him William after your father. That was that. And when you brought Mulder back in season nine and he said, my son, and she said, our son, that was that. That was something you gave us and then you took it away from us 20 years later, almost. That's some bullshit. That is some, like, ripping the carpet. And that's not a nice way. It's not a nice thing to do to fans. It's not a nice thing. And I think that it was a big mistake of doing that. And the more I think about it, the more I would be perfectly happy with the ending of I Want to Believe and all of season 11 and 10 be a dream. And in my book, they are still on that boat on a vacation away from the darkness. You know, it'd be and bigger maybe problem. they found their son. Maybe a bigger problem going way back that has led to this. Because again, I don't think the problems of the season 11 are really the problems of season 11. I mean, the, the twist maybe, you know what I mean? That, that's the new thing. But is the nature of the problem of season 11 goes all the way back that this show may have always had a showrunner type of flaw. That this show, oh, yeah. this show, you know, we, you, we you celebrate was... the fact that it was three different shows, right? We celebrate, and David says this all the time, it was the mythology the episodes of the week, and then the comedies, mm -hmm, right? Darren Mor Monster of the Week, and then the comedies, the Darren Morgan and a couple of the Vince Gilligans were kind of like in their own world, right? And they were all kind of interesting, almost like outer limit scripts that happened to have the same characters every week. You know, right. they're, they, they're more than Monster of the Week, they really were almost anthology-type shows. And as they got to season 10, they never reconciled that, and in some ways, season 10, I think, highlights the worst elements of that problem. And right. season 11, I think they fixed a lot of that, better showrunner. But, again, season 10 painted them they, into that they corner. They did some great work in season 11, some great episodes. The mythology episodes were not the strong point of season 11. But a lot of uh, those mythology episodes in previous seasons were co-written with Frank, mm -hmm. with David with Howard Gordon and right. they were not there to right. go right with Chris and these were all Chris and that's a problem because Chris isn't always great on his continuity and he writes a lot of storylines that go empty and don't have any type of resolution. I just want to ultimately, uh, to wrap this up, I want to hear what you guys think. So please leave a comment below and let me know. I'm somewhat disappointed, I have to tell you, because I would like to see more X-Files essentially, but I did not want to see them without Mulder and Scully. And the idea of doing a season 12 with just Mulder and William and trying to somehow make that work just didn't seem like it was a good idea and uh, a good plan moving forward. So as much as I am disappointed, I'm kind of relieved at the same time. But I do want to hear what you guys think, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I have another x video that I was working on in the middle of all this that I'm going to post in the next few days. We'll talk to you guys again. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, Till next time. Bye-bye.